Hello guys, it is AJ back again with another unboxing, and today we're unboxing Tempest's fourth mini album, The Calm Before the Storm. Two versions, and a platform. I'm actually surprised for a group called Tempest, this album name didn't come sooner. These are just embroidered boxes, and uh, we're gonna get to the platform first though. Oh, this platform actually had a sticker on it, well that's gone. And this is also the type of platform you can just turn to the side, it's everything falls out of it. So, got the instructions. Stickers, stickers, and oh, you get three. Okay, cool. You got Teddy, uh, handbin, and hook for the um, thick card, the actual QR code, um, and the platform cards, as expected, are very flimsy and thin. Quite nice though. Like the green in that, and very simple stickers and stuff. And you can just usually these though have the slip on the sides. I think the slip got caught in here. It did. It's definitely supposed to look like that. Okay, anyway, getting into the normal albums. Uh, let's do let's do this green first. So these albums are thin boxes. They are easy to damage. And there's a whole lot of stuff crammed in them. So that's just, that's the photo book and I see something falling out of it. This is, oh, it's like some sort of little brochure. Lyric, lyric booklet brochure. Kind of small. Not really much pictures in it. And we get a giant poster. Hey, we got the bias poster. It's not the best. It's kind of smushed and creases and stuff. But hey, cool. <laughs> oh, and we got Luz. Uh, they're still doing these. And oh, they're still doing these as well. Handbins. Giant postcard that I can never find a place to display. These are really thin. But Luz's sticker sheet. And we got uh, uh, some other stuff. What's this? It's just a fold-out thing. It's a weird fo fold-out thing with a metal uh, a metal band's post uh, name on there. <laughs> That's what every metal band looks like. There's a CD on the bottom, and the actual full member poster is quite decent. The folds aren't bad. Actually, getting into the photo cards last for once because I just ran into everything else first. Oh, there's a, still a ton of stuff in here. We got the big bumper sticker. You get a bunch of oh, <laughs> look at all these tiny little things. Get a bunch of IDs. I'm not a big fan of ID cards if you're not aware. They're just so small. Get this little... I don't know what you'd use this for. And a... something or other? We got double double hyuk and hrang for the non-hollow. No names on the back this time, but that is one card for that I don't have to track down. Tracking down Tempest cards are not the easiest. At least for who I'm collecting. I don't I don't think I'm gonna keep these out. These are just, I'm gonna put these back on the album if, if you don't mind. Those are just, I don't know about those. Well actually, you could binder this. I think, I think, I think you could easily binder that. I'm gonna keep this out. You could put it in a sleeve and it'll look fine. Anyway, into this photo book. If you haven't listened to Dangerous yet, it is a great middle, I want to say, from their last title, which was a little, which is a bit, you know, a bit harder than the previous, because they were doing cute songs after cute songs, and then um, Dragon was their last one, and then their previous comeback was just, was, was not the whole album, a lot of the b-sides were still cute. But half of the album was a different concept, was kind of changing into a, uh, I don't know, boy crush, whatever you kind of call it, a harder concept. And uh, this song kind of, Dangerous kind of fits in the middle of it. It's It's got elements of both, and I like it. I think it's pretty great. I have not had the time to listen to much of the B-sides of this one, like I had the previous so I can't give you much input on that. The B-sides of the previous album were really good. W which name is escaping me right now. Everybody looks really good in this, though. Loving all the hair. Go into the pink cover. The CD. The full group poster. I'm not going to fold it back out the old way. It's even better, actually. Cuts le less people's face. It's pretty good. We got handbin for 
I'm not going to fold it out all the way. It's just not going to show up on the camera. Handman's solo poster. Got the little fold out again. We got some more. Yep, we got the giant postcard for him. And Hunk's up for the sticker. Sticker sheet. Both of those I have not worried about collecting at all. The lyric brochure. Not much going on in here. Oh, and there's another another ID card flying out. Oh, we got more. Hold up. Hold on. Okay, so we got more tiny ID cards. Another herring, another one. Another one for my bias collection. We got Lou's little little flappy thing. And Chan. And Kyung Sep for the hollow. And the same funky weird things. Get into the second photo book. I do kind of hope that, like, if they want to come back in the summer, like, probably late summer, um, that they do another cute song. A more summery song. Come back in, like, I don't know, September? August or September or something? Around that? A good few months away. I love this outfit. Handman does hats. <laughs> they look really comfortable. These look like just such natural outfits. Looks like, like you know, outfits you just wear around. Not bad. And those are my pulls from Tempest's newest mini album. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you've listened to Dangerous. I think it really deserves the love. And I don't think too many people are talking about it, despite how good it is. And I will see you guys again soon with another video.